Hello, 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 this is Nicholas, and I'm doing a follow-up video to the Cauchy Euler equation, and I'm going to be uh, using a particular example without a loss of generality to prove that when we have the repeated roots for the Cauchy Euler equation that we multiply the second or one of the two solutions by a natural log of x. So uh, what I've started here building is a Cauchy Euler equation that I know will factor to have a repeated root. So I wanted a to be equal to one, in other words, my leading coefficient, because then it's nicer. And I was thinking the, the polynomial x squared plus two x plus one, I know that factors into x plus one squared. So that means I want b minus a equal to one. And I already know that a is one, so b minus one is one, or b is two. Or, uh, my bad. <laughs> I want b minus a to be equal to 2. Uh, so b is 3. So x squared plus 3xy prime. And I want c to be equal to 1. So plus just a y is equal to 0. So now we know our auxiliary equation is r squared plus uh, 3 minus 1 or 2r plus 1 equals 0, r plus 1 squared equals 0, or r is equal to negative 1. So we can use reduction of orders to uh, organically create this uh, natural log. So what reduction of orders says is that, well, our first solution, y sub 1, will be c sub 1 e, or uh, my bad, x, or Cauchy Euler, x to the negative 1 right? Uh, now my second solution, I don't know what it is. I'll say c sub 2 v of x, v is a function of x. And when I do reduction of orders, I should get v of x is natural log of x uh, times x to the negative 1. So let's, uh, let's do this, um, this uh, differentiation and all this good stuff. So, um, I'm only going to consider, or I'm only going to consider this y sub 2, which is, and I'm not even going to include the constant for now, because we know to just include it at the end. So that's v sub x, x to the negative 1. Uh, so y sub 2 prime is, uh, and I'll, I'll just write v of x, v of x negative v of x, x to the negative 2, plus v prime of x, x to the negative 1. y sub 2 prime, or y sub 2 double prime, is 2 uh, v of x, x to the negative 3. Um, minus... Um, v prime of x, x to the negative 2. And that's the first part there. Now the second part is minus v prime of x, x to the negative 1, or minus v prime of x, x to the negative 2, because I differentiated the x to the negative 1. Uh, plus v double prime of x times x to the negative 1. I hope I didn't mess up on the differentiation anywhere. Uh, can we combine anything? This is minus, minus, they're the same thing. So 2v of x, x to the negative 3 minus 2v prime of x, x to the negative 2 plus v prime of double prime of x times x to the negative 1 is y sub 2 double prime. Now, we plug this into our original differential equation. So we do, uh, here's where the algebra gets ugly. We get x squared times all of y double prime. That's 2v of and I'll, I'm just going to write 2v. I'm not going to do of x because I think it'll just make it look uglier. 2v x to the negative 3 minus 2v prime 
x to the negative 2 plus v double prime x to the negative 1. Now we do plus 3x times uh, negative v x to the negative 2 plus v prime x to the negative 1 uh, plus now the vx to the negative 1. And that needs to all be 0. So I'm going to drag this down here so that I have a little more room. And so now when I foil out... Okay, all right. Oops. I get 2vx to the negative 1 uh, minus just 2v prime plus v double prime x. All right. Plus, or now it's a minus, minus 3vx to the negative 1 plus 3v prime, yeah, plus vx to the negative 1 equals 0. Hopefully a bunch of stuff cancels out. <laughs> so we have vx to the negative 1, vx to the negative 1, vx to the negative 1. That's nice, okay. So that's gone. 2 minus 3 minus 1, and then add a 1, that's gone. Okay. That's reassuring that I <laughs> have done this right. Um, now, uh, we have minus 2v plus 3v. So, v double prime times x plus v prime is 0. Uh, this is a actually a like a pseudo uh a pseudo uh, first order differential equation because i can just let w be equal to y prime or v prime and so i get w prime x plus w is equal to zero and that is one that we know how to solve if i divide by x i get w prime or dw by dx plus 1 over, oh, that's very reassuring, 1 over xw is equal to 0. So that's a first order, non-homogeneous, uh, you know, we know how to solve this. This is uh, our integrating factor mu of x is going to be the integral of e to the 1 over x dx, or in other words, uh, just x. Um, so now, because we integrate 1 over x, we get natural log of x, and the natural log of x is x. So x w prime plus w is 0. And the left side is the derivative. It's x, the derivative of w. It's just the derivative of x w uh, with respect to x. So x w, oh, x w is equal to some constant. So we still haven't solved this original differential equation because now x v prime is a constant. And so v prime is c over x. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, perfect. So v then is just c natural log of x. Wonderful. That's just what I wanted. Okay, so, and I guess I should now write that that's v of x. It's just what I wanted. Okay. So now that natural log of x tells me that that's why I multiply by the natural log of x. It just organically comes up. So, and this is also, I have the c here. That's why I have this c here as well. So you can see using reduction of orders, pun intended, you can see that this natural log of 